Hello everybody, welcome back to Pitch Black Dungeon. My name is Bear. Boy, oh boy, am I glad to see you, Estate. In working condition, more or less, apparently. Uh, so, what happened at the end of last round, the game crashed on me and I just sort of left it there. I got the latest update for Pitch Black Dungeon, courtesy of Silvio. Thank you very much. We got the patched version. It appears to all be in working order. I think we're good to go. There was something weird that happened, though. First of all, Really good news, the level restrictions have been removed for the next quest, so that means we're going for a fucking boss. Obviously. Second of all, there was a bank error in my favor, collect $200. Actually, more like $30,000 slash gold. I have no idea why, but my estate was much richer when I returned. And I just spent the money, man. I was like, you know what, okay, I'll take it. If you say so, I am more than happy to find this money a home. So, Linum has been committed. I've also committed Drew in there, and uh, the Sanitarium holds Mustard and Picard. I... I figured, you know what? If, if Red Hook wants to throw me a bone, I'll be a little doggy. Rough, rough. I'm ready. I also went into the Guild and the Blacksmith, and I made these four here quite formidable. We're gonna take on the boss, as I mentioned. It's gonna be the Brigand 12 Pounder for a myriad of reasons, not the least of which is the fact that it gives me 16 deeds if I do end up completing this, which, God, I hope I do. Uh, and that is gonna be uh, almost what we need for the Blacksmith. Well, it's not quite. I mean, we obviously still need to get level 5 of armor smithing, so we're a little ways away from this still. But the furnace is nearly unlockable, and this is gonna help us big time. It's gonna save us a lot of gold moving forward because these guys are expensive as shit to upgrade. Even at level 6, it's like 3,000 gold for uh, rank 5 upgrade, so we want every single little bit of savings we can on that. However, that is not important anymore. There's the puppy Chubbs. Hi, buddy. You're gonna get stuck in this room and you're gonna want me to let you out, aren't you? Hopefully that door's not, not gonna shut, so we can just keep sitting here. Okay. Alright, cool. Yeah, I think we've reached an understanding. This is the team. Pull back my leper up front. I have uh, ranked up his weapons, of course. He was at rank 3, I believe, here on armor, so we're gonna, yeah, keep that there as well. But we have not spent a lot of gold on him in the, uh, in the guild. These ones didn't really seem like they were worth it to me to upgrade. It was really only, like, percentage values that went up here and then withstand, obviously, more stress healing. There's not a lot to be gained from leveling these skills up, so I'm just gonna leave them as they are. The Grave Robber, however, there was there's some, uh, tempting offers. I did end up going for level 5 of Flashing Daggers. It was one point of damage per round per upgrade, plus the 10% upgrade to the chance for bleed, so it definitely seemed like it was worth it. Shadow Fade is also tempting, however, I feel like I want to save this gold I've got now for a decent amount of provisions to make sure that, again, I've got, like, the best possible chance of success here in this boss fight. Uh, Trinket-wise as well, of course, we've got the Focus Ring and the Crescendo Box on him, gonna be doing a lot of damage with plenty of accuracy, I doubt he's ever gonna miss anything. And then the Four Leaf Clover and Feather Crystal on her to be a little bit more beneficial in the, uh, crit and dodge departments. The Vestal was expensive, <laughs> this was a very pricey person, but Divine Grace and Divine Comfort are now excessively good. Obviously wanna keep her alive, I'm really not, like, I, I hope I don't have to look at this from the perspective of, God, I hope nobody dies, because really, we should dominate this. So, I gotta have a little bit more optimism, maybe, but she's gonna be really strong all the same. She's got Wheel Tactician as well, so she will do some damage if I need it. Arbalist, Reaper's Hourglass, lots of health to be able to uh, supplement that, and then the Four Leaf Clover back here as well, lots of crit chance on her. Sniper Shot and Sniper's Mark, more than likely gonna end up not taking advantage of this synergy, unfortunately, but she is gonna still deal a lot of damage. I ended up ranking up Bola to 5 for the stun chance because, man, if we land double stuns with the Bola, that's a lot of damage plus stuns. Holy shit, that would be amazing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to maybe taking advantage of that. She's deadly, too, so she's got some good crit chance on her. I like this. It's a good team. Especially against the Brigand 12 Pounder, of course, we've got a lot of versatility in how we address the lineups. So no matter where the match man shows up, we should have plenty of damage to get to him, and it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, other than that, I mean, we do have the camp... Ah, uh, we don't have the nighttime ambush prevention. Should we get that? I don't think it really matters too much, to be honest. Like, I am a slightly worried about our stress here, but I'm pretty damn sure we're gonna be okay. Hopefully the leper's gonna take the brunt of it, and he's got the withstand, of course, to take care of it for himself, so... Maybe we'll be all right. I'm still pretty worried about the overall condition of our estate, even with that $30,000 gift, which... I know some of you are thinking, Barry, you probably went to the INF file and edited in some gold for yourself. Do you really think... 
the dude forgetting to bring shovels to the cove is modding the game to his advantage? No, man, come on. I'm struggling to survive here. I don't want to... Well, first of all, I'm not going to taint the sanctity of my run like that. You got to give me a little bit more props. Come on now. Okay. Hypothetical person. I, 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 I accused of accusing me? Yeah. You fake idiot. What are you thinking? All right, let's go. Proper provisioning is... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? There's an alliteration there. It is uh, permissible? No, there's something better. You'll figure it out. Couple of keys. I'm gonna bring uh, just like one of each, you know? We got the extra money, although that is a little bit of a waste, perhaps. Two bandages would be better. We got Battlefield Bandage as well, which has a really good chance. Well, not a really good one, but it's it's at least a chance of curing the Blight and Bleed along with hers. So, you know what? I don't think I need these. I think I can get away without bringing... Well, you know, just the one bandage. I think this is free, right? Yeah, so we can, we can deal with that. Ah, and the wheel then we want these. We do want torches. That's right. Yeah, not going in the dark this time. We are nearly out of money already. Holy shit. All right. Man. Always ends up going all in, doesn't it? Even with that gift, it was just, it was so expensive. But, however, I mean, like, this is overkill. As far as our ability to deal with this level 4 boss is concerned, like, these guys should not have an issue. And it's gonna be an investment in our future as well, because it's not like we're throwing these guys away once we're done with them here. These are very useful characters that we'll be able to uh, take into dungeons in the future, so it's good that we made these upgrades right now anyway. Alright. I just need to talk myself into thinking this is okay and that I haven't fucked it up entirely in some way. Usually the, uh, the pep talk I need before clicking this button, but off we go. The wild whispers of heresy roused the rabble to violent action. Such was the general air of rebellion that even my generous offer of gold to the local constabulary was rebuffed. To reassert my rule, I sought out unscrupulous men skilled in the application of force. Tight-lipped and terrifying, these mercenaries brought with them a war machine of terrible implication. Mm. That is a scary one. The smell of sulfur and gunpowder hangs in the air. The war machine is close. The war machine is close. Let's do the math, baby. This is another little fun layout. I like this, man. I'm a big fan of these dungeon layout changes. It's a lot of good old fashioned fun. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no. Wait, did I do that wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so yeah, there is certainly two possibilities here. And they are both six away, so it is going to be this direction. Let's just do it. Let's go for it, baby. No dilly-dallying here. Now, let me, uh, let me outline real quick uh, something regarding the Vestal. I think I've already gone into detail about this, but I want to mention it again. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. At some point, I don't know whether or not her healing trinkets are even worth considering anymore. Ooh, a hexproof fungal battery. I really like the changes they made to the conditions of these enemies, by the way, like making those show up in brackets. A plus, I, I approve. Let's address the stress. Or attempt to, anyway. The thrown dagger. Oh my god, the minimum damage. Judgment would be enough, and now we gotta deal with that stress. Alright. Anyway, yeah, the, the healing trinkets on her. Especially when we're looking at the benefit of something like this. We had so many surprise attacks. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. In that last run, due to, I believe, this very combination. And it's hard to overstate the value of that because. When we all get our actions first, we typically are able to eliminate something immediately. And that prevention is massive. Speaking of which, holy shit, that protection was timely. Now let's see if I eat my words regarding her healing potential now that I've got 17 damage to account for already. No loss of protection. All right, this is going to be uh, slow goings, I guess, as far as getting rid of these guys. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. I'm gonna go ahead and purge as well. I really don't want to deal with any potential for disease. I do have the Grave Robber to address it, but... 
Easier not to, of course. We'll go ahead and group heal here. We do have a little bit of stress accumulated already, and it is beneficial, of course, to do so. Lead resistance not that great, and she's dealing a lot of damage with that still, so... I dig it. We got a ways to go on him, though. Yeah, of course, now with her being up front, the group heal is the only option. So with the trinket buffs on that, that would probably bring it up to somewhere around... Four, right? Four minimum? For the group heal, which is big, of course. Oh, Jesus. Alright, yeah, I'm probably gonna eat my words real fast regarding this healing potential. Damn! That's good, though. That'll make me feel better. I love a couple of crits out of this squad, too. We do have pretty good potential for that, I know. Okay, I, uh... We'll see. We'll see going throughout the entirety of it. Whether or not that ends up remaining true. These tree branch smackdowns can get pretty devastating. As long as we're not fighting giants every round, which I've been prone to... Maybe be susceptible to, or... Just maybe a little unlucky in that regard. Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Okay, not not terrific. I've had better starts. Hey, okay. Is that oh it's a wheel bonus, isn't it? Quirk reinforced. I see. Alright. I was wondering why we had a couple of those locked in on other characters, and that answers that question. This is a very good opportunity to heal, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, let's just go for the one shots. Man, that is inconvenient. I'm gonna go for the judgment, it makes way too much sense. Destroyed. One down. We'll go for the heal from the Arbalist if she goes first as well. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense too. Oh my god, I just realized the synergy there. Look at this. Decimated. Battlefield bandage plus judgment. Gives her plus two to the healing receive. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Fuck yeah, but that is really good. I'm going to take full advantage of that. Oh, and this too. Nice. It's working out well. I'd love a secret room, by the way. I did not see one in the, uh, proof. <laughs> you just got to talk to the game, man. You just got to talk and they'll listen. There we go. Not too worried about shovels here, either. This is, uh, getting close to the territory we need. Just a couple more scouts around this area. I don't know. I wonder... With this new layout, I wonder if the amount of rooms you scout is actually affected. It sort of seems like it might be. Okay, we got one dead in the back here. That's a dead eye, so thank goodness he's gone. Bola's brilliant. Masterfully executed. Good lord. I love this OP squad. So satisfying. I'm just gonna murder everything, yep. 28 fucking damage. It's crazy. Stress healing and the crit. Beautiful. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Oh, it feels nice. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. The towering cytoplasm. Right, we, had to, we had to deal with some some tough stuff, right? It had to throw a couple of curveballs our way. That's okay. I can deal. Impressive. I can dig it. They're still tough to kill, man, despite the uh, obvious inherent advantages of our unit here. You know what I'm saying, right? As the fiend falls, a faint hope Because unit is a, is a euphemism. Slang for something. <laughs> you get it. You know. Quickly the tide turns. Oh, and the stun here, okay. All right then, man. Really throwing some curl balls my way. Okay, there's another crit though. She's doing great with that Reaper's Hourglass. I don't think anything's even touched her yet. Judgment should be able to kill him. Oh, all right, just had to curse it. And there's the anti-curse. Tremendous. Judgment calls! Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Get the stress relief too. That move has gotten so much better. I love it. All right. Uh, uh, that's the wrong corpse you were supposed to get rid of, but, you know, he is going to sit in back and ferment, I guess, so it's probably okay. Let's mark this guy. Make the Grave Robber daggers a little bit more effective, because I'm sure I'm going to do this. Eradicated. And then maybe purge after that, I'm not 100% sure. Stun on this guy? It's got a decent chance. 
By decent, I mean abysmal. Worth it. All right. Throne dagger. Well struck. Good shit. For meds again, please. Tell me I wasn't wrong about that. And also, don't stun these guys. I've gotten into the habit now of just telling it exactly what I want. That's gonna work out for me. All right, he's only got one more round. I do need to purge this guy. I might not need to, actually. I might get the damage off before he's able to do anything. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Literally just following my orders at this point. I'm down with it, though. Okay, secret room, obvious. Gotta go for this. I've got a torch to deal with this, too. You think I... Yeah, I'll do it. Why not? A fortune. Waiting to be got spent. a caustic solution out of that. Okay. I'm gonna use this. Keep this. The light. The promise of safety. Kind of like the idea of keeping these for the boss fight, actually. That might be pretty beneficial. Man! Just every size two you got. Please, send them my way. Send them on over. I'm more than happy to take them on. Other enchantress. No stress, thankfully. That probably won't work. Yeah, he's got some decent move resistance. I need to heal him up, actually. He is getting a little too low. Ooh, but I might be able to kill this ghoul. Holy shit, she's got... Judgment does not have bonus damage against Unholy, does it? I keep thinking it does. Oh, it does. Oh, good. I'm a genius. And he's already used his action, which means I am just going all in with the damage here. Incredible. All right, Flashing Daggers is the moneymaker. They're both dead. Holy shit, they're both dead. Wow. That was phenomenal. Their cursed champion falls. Big heal from the Vestal, right? now. all right. Man, nice and easy. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Ooh, I walked right past this, too. Jeez. I'm just so into dominating everything gold, right now. Trinkets and baubles. Hmm. Paid for in blood. Okay, well, I mean... It makes so much sense to just fucking use these now, so let's just do it, I guess. Bam, bam. I'd love to have them for the boss, but it's totally unnecessary. How long do those last? Two battles. Yeah, it might, it might make it. If I get lucky here, if I get lucky enough to have guessed correctly the direction I was supposed to go. Look how short this fucking hallway is. Of course, of course it has a hunger tile. One tile in this hall. It's a hunger tile. That is absurd. Shape-shifting Nasher. Ooh, we got the surprise attack here. Let's see the value. This is my argument. This is why this is worth it to have on the Vestal, and here is the proof, I guess. Let's see, ectoplasm. Stress is still the biggest issue, I guess. Because I don't have anything direct to uh, directly address it. That's the only thing I'm basing that on. Ooh, she'll probably die. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. That's extremely good if both of these land. Oh, the knockback. All right, so that's still pretty effective. And we can get an intimidate off on this, too, unless I want to go for the one-shot kill. Duh. Fucking duh. And a harmless swipe. Look at how good that was. Argument made. Lantern trinkets equals worth. Look at how st well, okay, I mean, again, we have to consider the fact that we have the A-Team Super Supreme number one Ultra Stars going on right here. Like, this is an abnormally strong unit. However, even without that factored in, man, that was effective. There we go. All right, just the one coming in, and he is debuffed to speed, so that means I'll probably be able to kill him before he takes another action. Do have to deal with that? Not too bad. I'm going to take a heal, though. Just one big one. Maybe even this one. Although the bola is just so goddamn good. I'm not getting any luck on this guy, though. Okay, I think we just go ahead and... Ooh, intimidate, though. If I hit the 50-50, it's gonna kill him. Not quite enough there. I'm pretty damn sure this is the right play. And then, yeah, she's just gonna kill him. You know what? Let's do it. We'll probably camp out before the fight anyway, so that's not a big deal. This expedition at least promises success. Oh, okay. You know what? I'll get rid of that. And try out the fountain again. Everything is coming up bare taffy. Okay, we're looking to avoid another fight to be able to hold on to that buff, but I'm not going to be too sore about it if it doesn't, or, uh, 
doesn't end up going that way for me. I also, of course, have to get lucky enough to have gone the correct way, but sadly, none of that is going to come to pass. All right, so I'm loving flashing daggers. That is my only level five skill, so I suppose it makes sense to use it as often as I can. That's all right. Yeah, we can deal with that. She's got the throne dagger back there still. Should be able to knock him out, although Ebola is, again, really good. All this spread out damage, like, I recognize that's been my folly pretty often, but... God damn, is it effective right now. The judgment... Ooh, no, I'm not gonna get the judgment. However, that is a welcome heal, actually. A little bit of stress relief and top everybody off, more or less. Another flashing daggers. Holy shit! From every position! Lethal. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Fantastic. Just a one room or a one tile hall here as well. A fallen physician. All right, it'll be interesting to see what she does or what she gives us. More to the point, because she's gonna die immediately. This again? No, the bleed isn't as effective that time around. So tell you what, let's. She's got a lot of health. She's probably gonna deal the most damage too. So let's take her out first. Loss of speed there. Intimidate is good, although I, of course, still have this option of immediately annihilating an, an, an entire enemy from the field. Ten damage left, judgment. Boom. Nailed it. Just have to deal with the frontline damage. That's not too bad. Expected a little worse, honestly. There it is! That's the ticket. See, again, the game really is listening to me 100% of the way today. We gotta fix this up, though. That's a little bit too much damage right there. Crit plus the big blight. Ah, uh, let's see. This is still good. Crit, clearly desirable there. Oh, not more, though, shit. So we can't directly address on her nearly as easily as we could on, on anyone else, so... Really don't want that to happen anymore. Thank you very much for that, though. Nearly full strength. The... Let's see. Purge is probably for the best. Even though the knockback clearly is ineffective, getting rid of that corpse... I, I imagine I, I'm gonna thank myself for that in an, in an alternate timeline. And now... Oh, I really want to finish her off. Can I do it? No! God! Her curse of leaving them with one hit point. It'll never end! I'm gonna go ahead and pop- oh wait, no, I'm gonna camp out, so yeah, no, no torchlight necessary here. Do not need to get rid of that corpse. This is a corrupting grabber, too, that's a little unfortunate. I'm gonna try to stun him. Precision and power. Damn it. I'm not getting lucky with that. What is that chance? Oh, it's only like 70, isn't it? So yeah, I don't know why I'm, I keep expecting it to work out. Oh, goodness. Death blow resistance lost again. Maybe I should try to get rid of this, but I think I should probably just try to kill him, too. The Vestal, if she gets an action, I will definitely heal with. Because the Leper will be able to finish him off, no problem. Alright, well, fine. Have it your way. That's convenient. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Ah, uh, who, who needs it more? I guess her. Protective padlock? Worth more than the caustic solution, right? So let's get rid of that. Take that. Last key. Might as well. Okay. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. So having not scouted this out, I don't know whether or not it is the boss. However, I do know that one of these two has to be it, right? Let me just double check this. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. That is still five rooms. It's it's confusing, man. This this new layout is fucking with my brain, but pretty damn sure we're good to do this. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Rats in a maze. No diseases, no ambush prevention, so it is all about the buffs. Quarantine is unnecessary. Reflection is kind of good for him no matter what. She's not going to be able to, uh, to reduce this stress, so let's just go marching plan, restring. Bless is good. Let's give that to, uh, her. Keep her out of harm's way. She's not religious, obviously. Three left. We could pill for a couple of t Oh, hey, there we go. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for that. That was convenient. And then we can just encourage her, too. Yeah, there we go. 
Not too bad, okay. Ambush? Yep. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Alright, that shuffle sort of sucks. I might have to just move the Arbalist back. I don't want to do any sort of, um, Shadow Fade here either. You know, any sort of variety of that that I have available. Uh, let's go for stuns. Wait, no, 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 let's go for murder. Sounds more logical. Now, this bullet chance is only 75, yeah, so it's pretty unlikely, but it is still quite good. The ground quakes. And apparently just crits all the time, so it has that going for it as well. It's probably a blight. You! Oh, God! What the fuck? Ah! Okay. That, that was a little scary. Let's... Well, no, again, murder is the correct call here, although it's not quite guaranteed that time around. Battlefield Bandage can't target her, unfortunately. Okay, so let's just do that. That's the blighting one. I really should have gone for that one, truth be told. Okay, attempt to address this. My god, thank you! Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, he may only harm... No, he's gonna shank. Yeah, he can shank from spot three. Okay, oh, or slice and dice. To a killing blow. Very good dodge, timely protection. Let's try to get some big heals off and then maybe the Grave Robber will be able to finish you. Four damage from Judgment. I'll heal with whoever gets the first action. Ah, uh, this works, I guess, yeah. Either of these two can kill him, so whoever gets the first action heals and then the next one goes for the, uh, goes for the throat. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, a sapphire. Success so clearly in view. Mm hmm Or is it merely a trick of the light? Alright, loss of speed comes from the restring crossbow. This should get rid of our debuffs. We got a dagger for that. Citrine. Laden with loot are often low on supplies. Alright, we've got a little extra food here. I don't know whether or not this is the boss, but I think it's probably prescient to uh to go ahead and pop those right there. All right, we ready? This may or may not be the Brigand 12 pounder. And if that is the case, I believe I am prepared for this attack. Blind fire might be better. I doubt I'm gonna mark it. Let me try this. I don't know if it's really gonna be that good. I doubt I'll ever use it, honestly. But I don't know, I might. I might have an opportunity. Let's do it. This also might not be the boss, we'll see. Ah ha ha! Here we go. Alright, clearly going for the Fuse Man. Anytime the Fuse Man's alive, nothing else matters. Unless I can't hit him, in which case, do whatever I can, I guess. But I've got a lot of options to be able to hit him. And there goes one, alright. Judgment makes sense on this dude. I need to heal up the Vestal anyway, so let's do it. And we only got the Fusilier to deal with. Not too shabby. Kinda wish I had a repost on this squad, but obviously I'm making sacrifices somewhere else if I do that. Oh, that's a big summon, alright. A couple of Fusiliers this time. The flashing daggers are brilliant. Got the bleed. Okay, only need two more here. I'm gonna go for AoE heals. Pretty consistently, I'm sure, over the course of this. I really shouldn't assume that the Arbalist is going to be able to finish this guy off every time, although she does have a 90% chance to hit, so maybe that's not the worst assumption to make. If this keeps landing, I am definitely going to have to keep group healing, because that's getting pretty bad pretty quick. I need him to only summon one person, that way I can actually deal some damage to the 12-pounder here. Let's find out. That's not what I needed. And that brings the Fuse Man to the back, which clearly sucks. There we go. Alright, now... Intimidate is pretty damn good. We're actually able to damage the fucking cannon a little bit, and we make this guy a lot less effective. Uh, I'd love to one-shot you, although Blind Fire is pretty damn good in this spot now. I think I can allow both these guys to stay alive, in fact. We'll keep healing with her. And I'm okay with just dealing with the, these two, especially with this guy debuffed. That blanket fire, though, man. 
Especially with it landing on the Arbalist, of course, that's problematic. Blood vision. The end approaches. Alright. Just gonna bring the Fuse Man back, of course, and he is gonna be in the entire back of the line. Throwing it in it again! Every time down to five. Alright. I think we intimidate again, honestly. Like. Grievous injury. Oh. Palpable fear. Well, maybe not. If a chop can do him in. That seems pretty good to me. And I still have to do this. And now I'm definitely wondering whether or not the healing trinkets were, would be more worthwhile. Perhaps in the boss fights. It may be an important enough consideration to make. God damn. And there he is left again with one hit point. Maybe I should take a chance on letting the Arbalist try to one-shot him. And then I can let the Vestal finish him off if I need to. I should stun. That's pretty good. That allows the Leopard to actually hit for six. Yay. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Alright, I'm gonna take a risk on this one. Let me go Flashing Daggers for the three to four damage, which is pretty good. Lead here, and then I'm gonna go for the one shot. Beautiful. That is what we need. Okay, Leper with the kill. Fascinating. Oh my god. What a good situation. Okay. Much more effective. I gotta go that route. Gently. This is how a life Just two. Taken. Just two, right? Nice. Easy peasy. I wanna do that anyway. Oh, he's not quite dead, though. Okay, so we do need... Let's go Judgment, I guess, just to finish him off. And then I'm going to take a Blind Fire here to get that speed buff again on my Arbalist for sure. And how about we just... Depending on the results, I guess. I can finish him off. I don't mind that, actually. He is bleeding. Hmm. I don't need the protection. I think I can... Ooh, what if I do Intimidate? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Reduce his accuracy and speed as well. Just one? Just the fuse man! Nice! Oh my god, I love it. Okay, uh, sure. Do it again. Still need two, though. But Intimidate works here now. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, that works too. Let's get a big heal on my leper. Let's be smart about this. I don't wanna... I don't wanna regret having this opportunity and not using it. Just one. Alright, not too bad. Again, keep keep trying to issue it commands here. Booyah! Yes, sir! Oh my god, I love it. Okay, I'm not gonna one-shot this guy. Hmm. Four to five. What is my best play here? Probably... The, well, no, Shadow Fade, maybe. Nah, I don't want to move the party around. Let's just keep going for the little bits at a time. I'm clearly not gonna debuff that thing. Judgment... Eh, yeah, let's go here. I may intimidate too. I think I am gonna do that. And I should keep healing. I mean, I, I don't wanna sacrifice any damage, but it is pretty important that I don't lose sight of the red bars here. Through to round fucking ten. Alright, come on now. Another one shot. There it is. We got pretty good odds rolling that every time, so I, I feel good about it. Should I heal again? Let's go for a group heal. Keep her up above 75%, of course. Gotta remember that as well. Oh, man. Come on. What gives me, like, almost a guaranteed kill on this guy? That's what I need. Let's keep going pick to the face. This. Oh, yes, the crits. That damage is adding up pretty quickly. We can intimidate that guy all day and make him pretty goddamn useless. Yeah, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Okay, continue not summoning melee people. So long as you afford me that luxury continuously, I am... I am good to go. We're in a pretty good spot here. We were getting some unlucky spawns early on, but I'm feeling pretty damn good about the situation at hand now. Let's... let's top this off and then I'll feel really nice. Oh yeah, that is just fan-fucking-tastic. He does zero damage! Minus 90%, holy shit. That's all we need to do. We don't need to kill him. We just need to make him garbage people. 
Ah, uh, let's go flashing here, though. Yet again, leaving him with one. All right, classic. Classic grave robber. Oh, no, now we just go all in with the damage. Beautiful. Beautiful. With the crit, even. No stress. I've lost five hit points on my leper. That is the extent of our damage here. And only a fuse man brought in. See ya. Oh, I love this now. I fucking love this now. Complete domination. Absolutely fucking annihilated. The war machine crumbles. Oh, there's the melee guy. A little bit too late with the cutthroat. Landing straight up body shots. Good shit. Let's just massacre this guy. Let the judgment come in. I don't want to take any unnecessary damage here. Why would I? Why would I? When he is nearly done. Oh, is that the whole squad? No, not quite. Okay. Definitely go Fuse Man first, though. I don't want to be stupid here. Although, Flashing Daggers... If I kill the cannon, he doesn't have anything to light. I should have look I maybe should look at it that way. A corpse of twisted metal and splintered wood. I'm gonna go ahead and look at it that way. Home amongst the headstones. See ya! See you later! Oh, I of course I do it suboptimally. Land the debuffs. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. What a fight. What a fight. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. I don't need that. Why not keep going? Hey, look, I like this text now, too. We only ever gave the matchman in the back one chance to spark the fuse. Those quick and lucky enough to jump away from the lead regurgitation wipe their brow and put the matchman to sleep. Our sister was not lucky, however. Her lifeless green eyes filled me with a dread like never before. She had been my closest friend in the orphanage, and I was not even given an opportunity to recount my fondest memories of her before we were on our perilous journey back to our employer. Yay! Oh man, I kinda just wanna go, to be honest with you, but I've got a ton of resources, so that would be just totally foolish. I gotta take advantage of this. I got a lot of money to make. Let's do it. Onward. Might even clear all this out if I'm feeling ex especially ambitious. Here's the thing, though. Eight torches, 16 food, two shovels, and a campfire. Now 12. Very quickly, my, my odds of success throughout the course of this entire dungeon have dwindled as a result of that hunger tile. However, I may be able to just leave immediately if I feel like it. Oh, God. That's okay. That's okay. Everything's all right. Do I have herbs? Apparently, it doesn't matter. Wasting sickness. Okay, kind of regretting this so far. This is the wield, so it, ha it has the capability to completely fuck me over. Yeah, just go ahead and pick that up. 50 gold. Stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Charming enchantress and a royal ghoul. Ouch! Thank God for the surprise attack in this circumstance. Judgment is definitely coming up here. Let me go for a chop as well. Judgment should be able to finish him off, or her off, rather, and then... Ah, uh, well, you know what? Just in case. I was willing to take that chance, too. There we go. All right, she's feeling a lot better. A skull toss would be scary. There it is! Why do I keep telling it what to do? There is some sort of voice activation going on here that I'm not aware of. I'm getting... I'm getting pretty suspicious, man. Alright, that corpse is done. I'm gonna help her out a little bit, because she is gonna judgment after all, so I'm fine with that benefit. Kaboam! And the chop probably isn't gonna be enough unless I crit here, but let's go for it anyway. Okay, no skull toss again, please. I gotta stop saying it. I gotta stop saying it! What is wrong with me? I know what's happening now. I just refuse to acknowledge it. Do I need healing? Probably not. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Lead resist! Hooray! Okay, well. 
We got a little bit of value there, I guess. Let's see what's in this room. Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Stupid! You're so stupid! What's in the box? That was the original What's in the Box before Seven did it. It was from Weird Al's UHF. The home of original movie productions. Oh, no, don't do it again. Don't do it again! You gotta leave the carcasses alone, Postal! Or resist the disease. That's, that's good, too. And yet another surprise attack. All right. Totally in love with flashing daggers, man. That has been my fucking jam this round. That is a dead cutthroat. I don't love my odds of success there, so let's just go for something like this. Thank you very much. You are nearly dead. Good god, that's amazing. Hopefully you act first so you get the harmless poke off. Let's find out. Nope. Death by All right. That's unfortunate. Six damage, not too bad. Now the punishment, probably. I keep trying to predict. Sometimes I gotta go the way it would benefit me. Flashing again! Unbelievably powerful. Absolute power! 10 damage, uh, not quite there. Judgment, yeah, might as well. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Hell yes. Foolish horrors. Eh. Brought low and driven into the mud. Uh, I mean, yeah, let's just, let's do that. We gotta make room for the stack of gold eventually. You don't need two diseased herbs, obviously. We'll go ahead and get going. That bleed sort of sucks. I still feel fine. I think I'm just gonna have to camp out here and take off. Yep, definitely. 100%. Alright. We are getting out of this once this is done being shitty. Bleeds are good. I don't know if I'm ever gonna stop using that skill, to be honest. Um... I would like to kill you. You're gonna add some stress I'd prefer to avoid. Sniper shot will probably do it. Oh no, actually not even there. Damn. Um, wow, okay, well that sucks. Ooh, I should be intimidating the fuck out of this giant, though, even though his debuff resistance is a little high, I guess. Damage and crit. Ooh, that's scary. Oh, that's even worse now. Oh no. Take pity, take pity. Thank you very much. Naturally sends him to the fucking back, though, of course. God damn it, he can't do anything from there. Gotta move forward. Uh, hmm. I'm okay with that. Vestal's gonna have to just group heal, I guess. Jeez, this is not a good fight. I may just move her back. Yeah, that's that's gotta be the play right now. And now I really wanna kill him. So let's do it. I'll probably just have to purge at that point with the fucking leper. Oh, God. I have a lot of healing potential, and God, I hope they don't kill her. Okay, that's good. See, that could have been damage enough to kill the grave robbers. So that's really convenient that didn't end up being the case. However, that does take away a heal, so now we need the Arbalist to do it. That is a scary attack, man. Holy shit. I'm gonna purge for sure, so let's just kill her. Now it's just the one to deal with. Well, actually, you know what? He's gonna fester, isn't he? So let's just keep trying to do this Intimidate. Reducing his accuracy, if I can get at least one try at it, would be worth it. For Matt? Good. Oh, man. We need to get out. I see the writing on the wall, and it is time to... Time to depart. How about some stress relief, too? Why not? That is so damn good. So much better than the fucking Houndmaster, of course, now. Very nice. Can use all of that. Okay, and now bleeds are still pretty damn nice. He does not have that much resistance. That corpse is now gone as well, which is convenient. Okay, we're making our way. This is weirdly, like, almost as tough as the fucking 16-pounder or the 12-pounder. The quarter-pounder with cheese. Just as tough. Just as tough to get down. 
Yeah, well, hold on. More damage here? Absolutely. Judgment plus chop. Please tell me that's enough. It is indeed. However, the judgment is not available. Whoops. Luckily, he shouldn't be able to kill anybody, and he is going to bleed out next turn, too. Goody, goody. All right, we are good. We are done. We are out of here. I might have wanted to go for the crit there, actually, but... There we go. My god. That helped. Holy shit. Nice! Wow! Extremely effective ending. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Alrighty. We're good. I'm gonna camp out. I'm going to get rid of this disease. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. On my fucking arbalist. Bada bing, bada boom. And uh, let's see. Encourage her as well. Down to basically zero stress. And we might as well quarantine to get rid of the rest of it. Okay, supply item. Get that for the money. And we are good. We'll take that just in case we have to deal with an ambush here, and I believe that is going to do it. Yep. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Wonderful. And purpose is made clear. Off we go. Very profitable. Extremely happy with that. 20,000 gold, very few heirlooms, but we did it. We got a level 6 Pesquent, too. Eagle Eye. Not bad. Oh, that sucks. Wow. That's a really unfortunate quirk. We might have to get rid of that. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. And the letter was on its way. Just occurred to me I might have wanted to save my money until after the boss fight to commit those people to stress relief. That probably that probably would have been a good idea. Oh well. Now we get it half off with Campion at least. Nice. Alrighty. Let's just go ahead and get rid of the disease while we're at it too. Yeah, let's see. Vampire or vampiric spirits there. Vertigo. The fits. Yeah, we do have to get rid of the fits. Let's get rid of that. And then we should probably go ahead and get rid of Vertigo on my Bounty Hunter as well. That is reducing his accuracy, so let's do that there. And that's good. The estate is looking much, much better. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Pitch Black Dungeon. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did as well. Appreciate that a lot. I'll see you next time.